Alley Cats in New Year. So today is one of my May 2017 geeky pickups! And those are exactly what this house is just everything I picked up in the entertainment industry over the course of a month. And I never expect to pick up as much stuff as I do, but I always somehow manage to because I find bargains and I can't say no to a bargain because that's how I was raised. I was raised to always pick up bargains. Because you never know when that item's not going to be on sale anymore, so you snap it up as soon as you can, and that's why I have a shopping problem now. No, there's a deeper-seated root of cause for that, which that made no sense, but let's just, just judge me for buying crap, okay? First up with a couple of CDs I purchased. The first one up is Divide the Deluxe Edition. This is the latest album from Ed Sheeran. I adored this. I really love the Scottish and Irish influences on these songs and of course I love Ed Sheeran. I've loved every single song he's ever put out but my favorites on this album are Galway Girl, Nancy Mulligan, and New Man. They're all fantastic. Go listen to them. They're so addictive but this album is superb. And next up, this is probably a stupid purchase but I had to get it because I love this show and I had to have this. It's a novelty item but so what? It's the Bob's Burgers musical album, or music album. I fucked that up. It has a hundred songs on it, guys. Actually, a hundred and seven. Again, I fucked that up too. But a hundred and seven songs. I had to have this, okay? It's just, it's Bob's Burgers. You open it up. It's the street from the show, okay? <laughs> I love Bob's Burgers. It's one of the only things that makes me laugh. It makes my pitch black soul laugh. So I had, I had to get it. Moving on to the plethora of books I bought because most of them were $5 and under and I can't say no to a bargain book. The first one up is the one that I'm currently reading and that is Do Android Stream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. I'm not very far into it but so far I'm enjoying it. It's definitely really heady and I'm going to have to read it a second time. It's actually quite different from the film to be honest but I really love that aspect. I'm loving Philip K. Dick's writing and yeah I couldn't say no to it. Next up, this book was actually a gift from my mom, so thank you, Alley Cat Mom. But that is Gerald's Game by Stephen King. My friend Emma from Spooky Astronaut said this was her favorite Stephen King novel of all time. I had actually never heard of this before she mentioned it, but when she told me about it, I had to snag it. So I'm super excited to read Gerald's Game because it sounds fantastic. And then because I love, love, love the Witcher video game series, I picked up The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski which they're actually making a Netflix series about The Witcher now, so this will definitely help me prepare, I think. But I'm really excited to read the novels and to see Geralt's background and the extra stuff that maybe wasn't covered in the games. But definitely excited to read this at some point. Next up, I finished this book already, but that is Wishful Drinking by Carrie Fisher. I wrote a written review for this novel, so if you'd like to check that out, that'll be linked down below. But this was really funny. I love how Carrie doesn't give a fuck about what people think about her or what they thought about her. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. But if you love Carrie Fisher, you're going to love this novel because this is just a peek inside her brain. She tells stories about her life and it's just so much fun and it's a really short read as well so you can easily read this in a day. Next up I had to get this book because it's from one of my all-time favorite authors but that is Hear the Wind Sing Pinball by Haruki Murakami. I really don't know what these two novels are about but I'm really excited to read them anyway because Haruki Murakami is known for his novel's eccentricities and I just love that magical realism aspect of his novels and I just, I, I adore Murakami's work so super excited to read these books which you can actually flip it and see the other side which is really cool. Next up is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I had actually never read a Neil Gaiman book before I read American Gods but I had seen the film version of this novel. So I really want to read this and see if there are any differences and how the film stacks up to the novel. Next up is City of Thieves by David Benioff. David Benioff is actually one half of the creators of the Game of Thrones TV series. So I really want to read his novel and it is set during the Nazi siege of Leningrad. So definitely an intriguing period of history and that's basically all I know but it's a short book so I can probably read this pretty quickly. And the next book I got is The Red Queen by Philippa Gregory. I actually wrote, an, again, another written review for the first novel in this series, The White Queen, which is on my blog. But I haven't read this yet, 
But this focuses on Margaret Beaufort and I'm really excited to read it because I adored The White Queen. And the last book I got this month was Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this novel. This is about a post-apocalyptic world where a flu has taken out a bunch of humanity and their survivors that are dotted around the world, I believe. And I did pick up a few Funko Pops. I always say I'm gonna stop buying Funko Pops and then I see cool ones and I'm like, crap, I fell down that rabbit hole again. But first up is the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. I mean, look at him. You can see the teeth on his little flappy flaps here. I don't know the correct terminology, but he's just so cool and so menacing and he's such an unusual pop and I had to have him, okay? I love Stranger Things. I love the Demogorgon, so... Oh no! Ah! A certain pop fell, which is kind of appropriate, but oh my gosh, no! Anyway, getting back to the topic, I love the Demogorgon from Stranger Things, so I had to get this really cool pop. The next pop I got, and this is the one that actually fell off the chair, was the Laura Palmer in Plastic Pop. She is actually on a stand that doesn't really hold her that well. But I mean, look at her! She's so cool! She's wrapped in freaking plastic! And you can see her blue lips, the sand that crests her face, and then, of course, the plastic wrapping that is, you know, holding her dead body in place. But I love Twin Peaks, I love Laura Palmer, and this is one of the coolest pops I've seen. So I had to get it, and it was $4. I mean, can you say no to a $4 pop? I can't, because I have no control over myself. And lastly, this last pop. Lastly, this last pop, really? I haven't even taken it out of the box yet, but that is Rey from Star Wars The Force Awakens. I adore Rey, and I just, I had to have her because I, I love her. Like, she's just amazing. Uh, I don't know how well you can see her, not very well, but I had to have her for my ever-growing Star Wars collection, so I have Rey! Yay for more unneeded spending. Next up for games, the, the only thing I picked up was the Little Nightmare 6 edition. I did an unboxing for this, so go check that out. I am planning on streaming this game at some time, but it's a really cool edition, so check out the unboxing video. I have the Blu-rays that I've purchased. First up is the White Queen miniseries, which again, I adored. I did a video about this. No one watched it, but go check it out and see what I thought about it. But again, like I said, I loved it, so I had to have the full series on Blu-ray. So yeah, weak willpower. And then next up, because this is one of my favorite movies of all time and I had to have this edition, is Pan's Labyrinth on Criterion. Again, I already own this movie. But I had to get it on Criterion Collection because of all the added extras, plus a gorgeous box art, and plus it's just, it's Pan's Labyrinth, people, okay? The next thing I bought was the Marvel Avengers 2 movie collection, and it actually has both films in it. So you get Marvel's Avengers and then Age of Ultron, and to buy these two together is cheaper than buying them separately, so had to have them because I don't really have a lot of Marvel movies just because they never go down in price, but this was a steal. And lastly... <laughs> I got La La Land because this was one of my favorite movies of last year and I just had to have it because I adored it so much and this cover is just beautiful and shiny and amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love you. I love you so much. Will you marry me, La La Land? Really? Will you marry me? Please, 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 please. And I almost forgot to mention artwork I picked up. Our house is being renovated at the moment and I'm actually going to have my own studio space in the near future so I picked up some artwork because I really wanted to spruce it up with some geeky artwork from shows and movies that I really enjoyed. So let me show you the artwork I picked up really quickly. First up, I got this certain print from Carola Marin, which I'll have her shop link down below. But it is Jamie and Claire Fraser on their wedding day from Outlander and it's just stunning and I can't wait to get this framed and hang it up because it's gorgeous! And the next four prints are all from Kevin Esslinger, which again I'll have his site linked down below. But first up is this really awesome splatter print Freddy Krueger. Everyone knows I love Nightmare on Elm Street and Freddy Krueger, so to have an art print of him is super badass. Next up is this Supergirl print. Again, I adore Supergirl, and to find a print of Supergirl was super hard. But when I found this, I was like, this is stunning. I need to own it. And the next two prints are both Star Wars related. First up is Princess Leia. She's very minimalistic, but equally stunning in her own right. And lastly is the big bad himself, Darth Vader. That was a really bad Darth Vader thing. But he's so cool looking! Like his lightsaber just pops off the prints 
And you can tell it's just him by the silhouette and it's just really, really cool. And again, I can't wait to frame all these and hang them up in my office and show them to you guys when I actually have my office. So those were all the pickups for this month. I know I have no self-control, okay? Don't judge me! So if you liked the video, leave a like. Let me know what you've picked up in the month of May down below in the comment box. If you liked the video, make sure to share it because it helps my channel grow. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And also make sure you click the notification bell so you're always alerted when I upload a new video because YouTube's kind of slacking on that lately, so hit the notification bell, become a part of the Alley Cat Notification Squad, and win extra cool points in my heart. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, all those sites are linked down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and kisses. Bye. Oh, 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 jeez, guys. I'm so sorry you had to see my terrible dancing. But while you're here, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you'll see my face floating over here in the near future. Click it, and I'll sub you to my channel. Also make sure, if you want to see the last video I uploaded, to click that up here. If you want to watch a playlist of videos that you can watch over and over again, that will be down here as well sometime in the near future. I'm just going to go back and go back to my horrible dancing now, okay?